Well, we can see thunderstorms during any time of the year, but the most common time is during the spring when you have those big temperature changes from really warm conditions to really cold that happen quickly. And when you have that, there's a lot of energy in the atmosphere, and that that's what causes these thunderstorms to form. So you see these towering cumulonimbus clouds. You see the rain, the dark sky. How do we get thunder and lightning? Well, there is positive energy at the ground, negative within the cloud, and they want to become even. There, there needs to be some sort of energy change, and so the electrons begin zigzagging downward, and as that gets near to the ground, you have this positive energy and the negative energy, and that comes together, and that creates an energy change. And then we see the lightning or hear the thunder from that as they try to equalize out and become neutral. And the return stroke is what we see, traveling at about 60 thousand miles per second. So a lot of things are happening within these storms and all of this takes about less than a second. And there are several different types of lightning. It can either happen in between two clouds. It can happen between the cloud and the ground. And so what we see a lot of times is that bright light is from cloud to cloud. So how do you keep yourself safe during a thunderstorm? How do you protect your family? If you hear thunder, you do need to head indoors. If there is no shelter around, either head to a car or try to be the lowest thing on the ground. You do not want to be near a tree and you do not want to be in a very open field. And also, as you're inside, do not shower or bathe during a thunderstorm because uh, the electricity can actually travel through the plumbing if your house were to get struck by a lightning bolt. So there are some things that you can take to keep your family a little bit more safe during a thunderstorm. And if you need any other severe weather tips, head to the Severe Weather Guide on wavy.com.